Erica Serwin here from Peak Buggery Designs. I've got a cute little Christmas treat project for you. It features these awesome tree lot dies, which are free in our summer celebration catalog on page 12. You can get the whole set of dies for free when you spend $100. Um, they coordinate with the trees for sale trees for sale stamp set over in our holiday catalog. So make sure you check that out. I believe it's on page 39. Okay, let's look at this treat box. Let me show you how it opens. It has a little belly band, slides off, and inside Ghirardelli, everybody loves Ghirardelli at Christmas time. They kind of feel a little fancy, don't they? So this little belly band we're gonna make to slide right on holds our box together. All right, so why don't we make our camper first and then we'll make our box. Um, these dies not only cut out those trees over there um, on the trees for, trees for Sale stamp set, but they have all these cute little accessories too, like the camper. We're gonna cut the camper out of basic white, um, but then we're gonna also do something where we cut the tire and the hitch out of silver and black. Um, we're gonna cut out the top and bottom little embossed pieces from pool party and then we're going to cut out that banner from uh, real red and i'm going to stick an adhesive sheet here Our adhesive sheets come like this and i just keep cutting pieces off of it to put on the back of our um, paper because then when you cut this out it turns it into a sticker which is fantastic we're going to do that i think too with our silver piece so let me cut a little bit of that off i think we just need a little bit right there and maybe our black piece too let's get started with our cutting and then we'll see as we go all right cut and emboss machine i'm going to put my little camper right here we're going to do that part first and then we'll do our top and bottom and our banner all right so we'll run that through All right, so we don't need that die anymore. And we don't need that die anymore. We'll have to get that out of there. Um, and we don't need that die anymore. And what we do need, we do need this die. So we're gonna bring this back and I'm gonna cut this out. So hopefully I'll get the sticker on the back. I may not have made the sticker big enough, but we'll see. We just want the hitch and the tire all right so i'm just going to put that on there like that boy my piece was just barely big enough hitch and tire all right so take that off let's see well there we go okay we're going to cut those pieces off of there and then we'll do our basic black piece let's go ahead and put some adhesive sheet on the back of that too When you put adhesive on the an adhesive sheet on the back of your cardstock, it turns your cardstock into a sticker. Then you just stick the things together and you don't have to mess around with that messy glue. All right. Now I've got all these pieces here. I'm going to show you how to put them all together. We're going to take um, the black tire part and you're going to need your little scissors. And we're just gonna cut off that black tire right there, okay? Now I'm gonna bring over my white trailer, my white camper, and we'll pull off that backing. Um, I found that if you take, if you're having trouble getting the backing off because you have nails like me, take your, take your pick tool. It just makes it so much easier. All right, now adhere that. Now I didn't put adhesive sheets on the back of these two because they're bigger and they're easy, easier to glue than those tiny pieces. Um, I find that with the tiny pieces, I just make a big mess. Let's see if our glue is gonna work today. Well, I have another one here. Maybe we'll have better luck with it. Oh yes, there we go, whoops. We don't want that glue on the door. All right, so pool party and white for our vintage trailer. All right, there we go. Put that up here. 
All right, now here comes the tricky part. I'm gonna cut that little trailer hitch off and I'm gonna cut off the outside part of this tire like that. And then just that inner piece is all we need. Now look how tiny that is. Again, take your, take your pick tool. This is like a surgeon's tool. I feel like I'm doing paper surgery when I, when I pull this out and start to get this adhesive off. There we go. All right, now we're gonna put that right there as a silver hubcap. How cute. Now let's trim this off. I'm gonna trim a little bit of it off because that's just gonna make it less, we don't have to match up so much of the piece. We just have to match up that middle part, All right? Now, if I can remember how the trailer hitch goes, this little notch up here goes to the top. And you're gonna adhere it like that. Okay, next, the banner. Again, we put adhesive on the back. Let's get that off of there. There we go. And we're gonna put that right across. Now there's one more thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna put vellum on the back of this so that it's kind of opaque. All right, oops, that's probably a little bit too much glue. All right, set your piece of vellum right there, like that. And let's take a look at it. How stinking cute. Now there are there is a wreath and a bow that you could add, but we're just gonna leave it like this. All right, let's set it aside to dry. All right, while that is drying, we're gonna make the box. You're gonna need a piece of Real Red that is three and five eighths by seven and three fourths. On the long side, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to score it at two and a half, three and an eighth, five and five eighths. Let's move that so we can see five and five eighths, and six and a fourth. Now, on the short side, you're going to score it at five eighths and three. Okay, now, come over your bone folder. You want to make sure that all your little lines that you just created are nice and crisp. So run your bone folder down all those lines. Make sure they're burnished. And then you're going to need to grab your scissors. Now I'm going to take, look and see how we have a big section, a big section, and a smaller section. The smaller section is your um, top that folds in, okay? So keep that in mind. Down here between the two big sections, we're gonna snip those score lines. Now up here on the small section, we're gonna cut off these tabs. Okay, now for these tabs, you're gonna go in from the top. Okay, like that. So that is what your piece will look like if you need to stop the video so you can see. All right, now we're gonna put it our designer series paper and I'm using some of the DSP from, also from Celebration, free with a $50 purchase. And right here on this side, we're gonna put this piece right here. Let's see if I can get it right. It's almost square, but it's not square. So make sure you get it in the right direction. All right, and then this piece goes right here. And it looks like maybe I cut my paper too short or my red paper too long. I will make sure that the measurements are correct on the PDF. So make sure you go over and get that free PDF on my blog. All right, so we're gonna take these and I think I'll use liquid adhesive right here, put adhesive on the inside of those tabs. Okay, squeeze it. Let's make sure we get that down. You want to make sure it's exactly in the right place. All right, and then a little bit of adhesive here. And we're going to fold that 
over, kind of like it's hugging the sides like that. Now we'll need to give it some time to dry. So pretend that we've given it about two or three minutes to dry. And then you can put in your Ghirardelli's. Let me grab mine and fold those sides in and then fold that over. Now we've got our belly band. Fold, fold, fold. You're just gonna fold it to match those edges. You don't want it too tight or it'll be too hard to pull off. Add some seal right there like that. Make sure you've got, yep, slides around. Now we're gonna take some pool party ribbon and, you know, let's put the lid on that. There we go. And we're gonna tie this ribbon up here at the top. I love this pool party with the real red. That's a fun color combination for the holidays. There we go, like that and like that. Okay, now you wanna get that nice and straight. I have a two and a half inch craft circle and I'm gonna take two dimensionals, put them right there, peel that off and put that right there in the center. All right, now we've got this guy, still a little bit sticky. Do I have regular dimensionals left? I do. We'll put one up here at the top and one here. You don't want them to be seen through the windows. Now I decided to not use the sentiments from the tree, uh, trees for sale stamp set. I'm using um, a sentiment from the Ringed with Nature stamp set from the holiday catalog just for you, I thought that was perfect. So we're gonna stamp that in real red on basic white. And we're gonna fussy cut. So my recommendation when you fussy cut is to start out with your pencil and draw where you want your scissors to go. That's gonna make it so much easier as you cut. You don't have to guess as you go. Now, cut out all that excess and then just carefully follow along where you drew your pencil marks. And if you leave any stray pencil marks there on your paper, just go back with your pencil and erase them. There we go. All right, now one last dimensional. And it looks like, oh, looks like I have one dimensional left. And we'll put that right there. And there you have it. A fun little treat using your new um, tree lot dies. Well, my little thing has come apart there, but there you go. All right, click the link here on YouTube to go back over to my blog. It, there's a free PDF with those measurements, supply list, and two other um, tree lot die projects. And if you would hit subscribe here on YouTube, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.